Roughly 90% of black women have used relaxers at some point in their lives to chemically straighten their hair. For many, it's something they started doing when they were children. New reporting in the New York Times magazine highlights the severe and often unknown health risks these products can pose. Chemicals in multiple mainstream hair relaxers sold in the U.S. have been linked to reproductive disorders, infertility, and cancers. Despite these threats, the products are largely unregulated and aggressively marketed towards black women and girls. In her research, contributing writer Linda Villarosa spent more than a year interviewing government officials, health not health nonprofit workers, university scientists, participants in medical studies, plaintiffs in lawsuits, and more. She found what she calls a preventable health crisis. And Linda joins us now. Linda, welcome. Thank you very much. When you started working on Thank this, you. when you started working on this project, what was the question you were trying to answer? And did you expect that it would take a, a year of work, or did it take you down roads you weren't expecting? I did not think it would take quite so long, but what I did was followed, um, did my reporting through the eyes of black women epidemiologists who have been looking at this topic for decades. And I started out with the 2022 study that made a link between relaxer, frequent relaxer use and a more than double risk of uterine cancer in black women. And then I went backwards. And then I was working on a study with only four people, four children who were um, developing early puberty, earlier than eight. And um, so it was a twisty, turny, long time, but I took my time because I didn't want to cause alarm. I wanted to make sure that the science was really in place. And the best stories, of course, are the ones that take those twists and turns. And, and did you find a larger story here about Healthcare in America for Black Americans, Black women in particular. I think the bigger story was about health in America and racial health disparities, whereas um, we've known for the very long time that Black women are more susceptible to a number of reproductive health disorders, but it was complicated and confusing set of circumstances as to why. So when some of these studies, when I was looking at some of these studies, they started making sense when they were making the link between endocrine disruptors, which cause early puberty, and these cancers that can sometimes follow it, and also to fibroid tumors, which are the leading reason for a cesarean section. So that was kind of the um, thing that I was really trying to follow. I also was very interested in the lack of regulation of these products that are so heavily marketed um, to Black women and girls, and also the societal pressure of Black women since the for century um, to wear straightened hair. So I go, let's see if we can, I can touch on all three of those points you just made, because they're all so important. First, the risks from using these products. You've mentioned some of them. What, what, are, what are some of the other risks? So the risk is, is that when you use the product, it burns on your scalp. And we've normalized the burning sensation that everyone complains about. But the burning of the scalp and the abrasions create an efficient entryway for the chemicals inside of them. And the main ones are, if your relaxer has formaldehyde in it, your straightener, then that is a known carcinogen. And then also the endocrine disruptors that cause early puberty and can lead to different kinds of cancers, uterine, um, breast cancer, which there's black women tend to get a more aggressive, fast moving, more deadly form of it, and ovarian cancer, as well as fibroid tumors. Let's bundle the last two questions together. You mentioned the FDA and the cultural pressures. Can you uh, go, go through those both very quickly at the end here? Well, let me start with the FDA. I, um, I was surprised that the FDA only restricts or bans nine chemicals and um, the European Union restricts or bans 1,300. I actually thought it was a mistake. I was misreading. So that means that there's lax oversight over these products, cosmetics in general, but the ones that have the strongest chemicals are the ones that black women and girls tend to use and are marketed aggressively toward us. And then the other thing is black women have long been pressured into having straight hair as the expectation that because it seems more professional, or it looks more professional, and it matters to your job and to your career. Linda Villarosa, uh, excellent reporting, and we're very grateful you're with us. Thanks so much, Linda. Thank you.